yo, what's going on, shroomies and shroomets? You already know why we are here. Let's get straight to it. Oh man, that looks beautiful. Oh, we let's go, baby. Yeah, that's nice. See how this next one's doing. Oh man, that smells so good. Look at that. Look at that. Let's go. All right. So we're gonna grab our top portion, six quart dub tubs. And we're gonna go ahead and spray the inside walls with some fresh secret solution that I have here in this black Flarisol bottle. It's really just some 7 pH water. Nothing too fancy. Just got the logo on it, so you know what I'm saying? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and give four light mists. You don't wanna saturate too much. Don't get silly. And then we're gonna go ahead and spray the inside walls with the uh, water. And you wanna just shake off that bead that piles up because it's gonna get a nice running bead. And you wanna get that out of there first before it uh, drops all on your cake and have big old water drops. I don't know how damaging that could be, but we don't want none of that. And you're gonna go ahead and place the lid on top with just a slight crack so you can get some fresh air exchange. Now this container is bowed out, so it's getting plenty on all four sides. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do the same for light mist. And we're gonna go ahead and do the same to the lid of our dub tub. Let's go. Hey man, I'm hype, man. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape the sides of these tubs down just because they're a little bowed and they're, it's not too thick on either side where I feel comfortable enough it won't tip over while I'm at work or whatever the case may be, you know. Mishap, freak mishap, my luck. Don't need it, let's tape it. Let's eliminate that and know that we're sturdy and we're good to go. Okay, now that we have everything set, we're gonna let these do their thing for about a week or so. And hopefully we'll have some pins. Let's go. Don't know if you can see this on camera. But these are pins right there, baby. Let's go to start of something beautiful. <laughs> Got one. A little nub forming right here. <sighs> we got another one, baby. <sighs> Ooh, okay. All right, and we're back eight days later. And those are the same ones I was getting hyped about. Yeah, I keep my eyes on those things now. Now we see some action. Okay. Look at that, look at that. You know what, I think this is gonna be a nice, nice canopy we're gonna have here. There's a lot of pins. Oh, wee. This is what I like to wake up to in the morning. Yeah. Let's go. Look at that. Nine days. Okay. 
All right, that's nice. And as I'm opening it, I do give it a quick little fan, nothing too crazy. Then we spray the tub and reset it back. Look at this. Man, so far I'm proud of the way this is coming out. Look at that nice little cluster. Yeah, that is beautiful. Look at nature work. It's a controlled environment, but that's still nature. I take no credit. All right, the moment we have all been waiting for. Harvest day. Let's go. Okay, so before y'all get all crazy and be like, oh, you should have waited. I should have waited just a few hours longer. But a majority of these mushroom, the veil was already torn, even though it may not look like it. But once I got in there and started chopping them down, they were torn or just about to tear or, you know, have like very, very slight tearing to it. So this is what we got. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that color. Yeah, that's nice. Look at that outer ring and then how the color just fades into that dark dark brown all right so i'm gonna try to pull some of them and i'm gonna try to cut some of them see which method works the best hey first one hello there hey. let's go ed that's so cool have these uh, fresh AC Infinity snips. They have like a curve in it, so you don't have to get all in there, you know, and be level. It has, a, the blade has a curve. It's pretty dope. Yeah, they're pulling out pretty nice. All right. Look, look, I'm so, I'm so hyped to just get in there and cut. I can't even get my Big hand in there, a small tub. But a lot of them just twist and pull, twist and pull. And this tub right here was the one that we inoculated on April 12th. The one that had less amount of substrate as you can see how much the cake has shrunk. A lot of these are twist and pull, twist and pull. Start using the snips once the mushroom is pulling up the substrate and doesn't want to twist. Super hype, shroomies. What do you say? How we do? This is nice. Okay, you see with these snips, how the curve allows you to hold it at any weird angle pretty much and get right down in there with the substrate, get close to the base of the stem so that way you can cut it flush. So I like these. These are the AC Infinities. Cost like, I think nine bucks or something like that. So definitely recommend getting these. This was a cool experience. Even sitting down here, like 
just harvesting them one by one was nice because you really get to examine each one and look at it and get to feel it. Very dope. And for those wondering, yes, I do play binaural beats for my mushrooms. I tried it out because just a frequency thing, you know? So I play 528 frequency. Uh, it's a 24 hour stream and I just keep it in there. I'm gonna come home from work if it's dead and I'll just charge it up and put it back in there. I'm gonna snip some of those nasty tips off. We don't want none of that. All right, so let's go ahead and get to this. I'm gonna continue and harvest. I'm gonna leave some that were need to sit for a little bit. I'm gonna work on the next one because we have two tubs. All right, look at this. See, this is what happens when you wait. Look at that beautiful canopy. And look at that. So hype, let's go Shroomies. We did it. Successful harvest. Oh man, look at that. It smells beautiful. Some nice caps. We did good. We did good. All right, let's get in there. Same thing. I'm gonna try to do this with some organization and try to do a clean sweep all the way. While I'm doing this, I just wanna take the time out to say thank you for everyone for joining me on this journey. It's been a beautiful experience and we're just looking forward to growing, evolving, trying new things, expanding the channel. And I'm glad you guys are a part of this. For real, for real, man, means a lot. And I wanna give a huge salute to 92nd Mycology. All you shroomies and shroomettes, go check out his channel if you haven't already. Plenty of dope, knowledgeable videos filled with knowledge. Y'all go check it out. Man, this is a beautiful experience. You'd be surprised how strong these uh, mushrooms are. Sitting here rubbing the top of the cap, man. Those things are barely moving. Pretty dope. I guess they wonder why they push through concrete and push through wood and all types of things. Magnificent. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, so all I'm doing here is just trying to get the mushroom that I cut that fell in between the substrate and the container. But look at that, we got some nice coverage all over there. We didn't get too many side pins, which is pretty, pretty neat. I guess we did a good job. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this back in the same way so it doesn't break. And I know there's a few in there that I could have harvested, but they weren't ready and I have nothing to do. So we'll wait a few more hours, let them open and we'll chop down the rest of them. I'm gonna weigh this up and see what we got. So, all in all, from beginning to end, 
April 10th to June 3rd. We got 54 days, just under two months. We did it, Shroomies. First harvest, Uncle Ben's in the books. Let's go.